Hello, good people. My name is Kai Ode Babalola. They call me K Baba, and I'm here to talk about the film Resolute Art. Hi, everyone. My name is Tolua Lope Charles Adegbo. Hello, everyone. My name is Omotoyosi Kai Ode Babalola, and I played the role of Iyabo Shudeinde in the movie titled Resolute Arts. Okay, my name is Omolara Yola PMH. I'm playing the role of Dr. Mariah in the movie Resolute Art. Um, my name is Damilola Oyinlui. I acted the role of Eniola in the movie Resolute Arts. My name is uh, Ayobami Adebo Ega. By the grace of God, I'm the producer and the director of Resolute Arts. I play the role of Shogo in the film Resolute Art. I'm on the set of um, Resolute Heart, Husband and Wife series by Prodram. International. And um, I played the role of Matthew. An amazing storyline. I bet you this story is going to open your eyes to a lot of things. It's going to change lives. It's going to educate people on some of the things we do as believers that God really frowns at. Resolute Arts is a wonderful, very interesting, intriguing story. That when I started reading it, I did not drop it until I was done because I wanted to see what ended the movie. Okay, so it's a general story about um, it, we had like a single um, guy, a guy and a lady that were in a relationship. So much turbulence in that relationship, and by the side we're also seeing um, me, my character, a socialite, a very popular feminism advocate. Who believe that you don't need men and you know now what femini feminists do today on twitter on social media and all so she was like you don't need men and everything and you know we just follow the trajectory of her life and how she was trying to recruit and convince other women to join her as well but really is that how god designed it god designed god made men and women and each person is given their own different roles in uh, in the family but today's world we are trying to turn everything upside down so don't let me give it all away um when, let's all lose that when i just when i when i sat down and checked the content inside it i said that it is a timely message to every singles and broken homes outside there you need to go and watch it yes you go and watch it okay matthew <laughs> More, more like a born again Casanova, you know, Christian Casanova. Let me put it like, not born again Casanova, Christian Casanova. Anyways, what um, at one time or the other, you know, um, I, I, I want to use toasted, toasted all the, sis, all the fellowship sisters, you know. It's a fantastic movie. It's a, it's a complex story. It's a, it's a film that is um, well written, well produced, well shot. If you are here and you see what I'm seeing, you will know that the film is well shot. And then um, I can promise you nothing but quality. It's going to be value for your time. One of the challenges I had was when I was asked to put myself into the emotional feelings, like myself and Alice were like to look as in we were like to look at ourselves like look into your eyes and start seeing yourself in a romantic way and I was like ah will I be able to do this actually I had prayed about it because I know that I'm not I don't know how to put myself into that room but I really appreciate God God really helped me and it went away I presented it where I looked into his eyes and I was just laughing you know <laughs> you know and um the food oh my god uh, amazing! I must talk about it. I, I, I mean, the wel welfare uh, was was a top notch. I, I give it to them. I give it to them. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm going to be telling you a little story about the movie. Resolute Heart. But before I go to tell you. I want to appreciate uh, God for being 
the source of our inspiration, the source of our strength, and uh, for being everything. And I also want to thank all the amazing crew, those working together with us to make this production a reality. Uh, while Philosopher's Cross was playing, and uh, God gave me the message for Resolute Heart, uh, a lot of things were going on on my mind. How we're going to achieve it, how we're going to go by it. And uh, we were praying, my wife and I were praying as a ministry, we were praying together. And uh, you know, <laughs> God is faithful. Uh, a couple just uh, got in touch with us and they were like, can you people come and shoot in our house at Ibadan? Initially we were like, ah, these people don't know what uh, they are saying because for the whole crew and the production cast and team to come, it's not an easy task. I mean, if you see the crowd, the equipment, you know, the logistics involved, so but they persisted, and uh, we embraced it. Of course, that was God's favor because they got practically all the locations we used, all the vehicles that we used. You know, the welfare packaged, the food we had. That favor actually brought down the production cost of Resolute Heart. And this is a family that uh, we never met before. They just got in touch with us because of the work that God is doing through us on the YouTube channel. And then we became one big family. And we want to thank God for them to trust the Lord that the Lord whom they have honored will continue to bless and lead the family in Jesus' name. And so, now we have to leave for Ibadan from our base and even shooting in our own base as you know it entails a lot of uh, logistics planning and all but thank God for brethren we have good relationship with brethren drama ministers all over the, the country but let me say globally so we got in touch with our production manager that is the uh, Brother Taiwo Ayola, who is um, based in Ibadan, a reputable production manager, the producer of Ogogo TV, and uh, he helped us you know, to coordinate the cast and uh, you know, suggested uh, some of the cast to us because we went with our crew to Ibadan and then uh, we got almost all the cast. From Ibadan. He did a great job, coordinated everybody, you know, the brethren on ground received us, and uh, the location went so well. Uh, we did not regret leaving our base to go and shoot Resolute Heart in Ibadan, your state. And I want to also thank our host, the amazing family not once their name mentioned, the way they, they labeled, the way you, we could see that they were not pretending. They actually labeled to impress the Lord alone, and the Lord will honor them in Jesus' name. Uh, look at uh, the crowd scene where the fellowship gathered at the initial part of the film, episode one. It was the production manager who coordinated all of those brethren for us and it was so stress-free, uh, so we are so grateful. And I also need to thank the amazing team that I have in Husband and Wife series. God actually gave me the vision of weekly series, almost three years before we started fully. Uh, that time we recorded about three or four short films but we could not continue. But, you know, it was recently that I discovered that even though God was leading me, but I didn't get the wherewithal, particularly the wisdom to go by it. And what is the wisdom? 
to raise a team. And raising a team has really made the work so easy. Before now, sometimes we shoot a film or two in a year. But now, if you see the rate at which we shoot movies, and people ask, are you not stressed? Are you not? But <laughs> I tell them, I'm not stressed. Why? Because apart from the fact that God has been the source of our strength, we are blessed with amazing team. Starting from the associate directors, I'm the director of husband and wife series, but I have associate directors, I have two of them, uh, Brother Sheh Gumba Mideli, who doubled as the assistant president of the program, and um, Brother Solomon or Lasso Kong, the president of JATEM, he, he, you know, he made the work so easy for me. Sometimes I still hold the set and just leave them to direct the scene. Sometimes I, I tell them my concept, and when they come with their own concept, and it's better off with what I have in mind, I have to agree and ask them to go on. Sometimes I go to take a little rest while they are shooting or to study my script. I have the likes of Cesar uh, Folanyo, uh, also known as Skill, who is the head of GOP. Uh, Mayawa Samwe, who doubled as a DOP and uh, the production coordinator for Husband and Wife series. Uh, Michael Babatunde is also one of the DOPs, you know, those handling our sound. Uh, my sister, Sister Adenike Adebayo, who is the head of logistics for Husband and Wife series, you know, the makeup artist. Mary Ajewole. You know, they, these are people that most times you don't get to see them before the camera, but they are laboring so well behind the camera. You know, people, you know, many of them are so, so, so numerous to mention. You know, the likes of uh, Brother Tunde Ola. Tunde Ola is doing a great job because right from the location where we're shooting, he starts to edit. He's our lead editor. And uh, he ensures that husband and wife series doesn't get late to your screen every, every Friday. Sometimes, even most times, it takes him sleepless nights to ensure that we, we don't experience any delay, the, the rushes and all the materials are well kept. These are people that are making the work so easy. I believe so much in teamwork and it's working so well for us. I also appreciate uh, Dr. Bamedele Vincent, also known as Billy Sachs, who has been in charge of our soundtracks for all our movies. God bless your labor, my brother, in Jesus' name. You see, uh, before now, I used to by the grace of God, to receive the message from the Lord, write it down, do the screenplay, produce, direct. But you see, you know, God, the Holy Spirit had to you know, speak to me, to apply wisdom. And I thank God because I got it early. If not, <laughs> maybe one day one will just collapse on set and they will be thinking that they are falling under the anointing, they won't know it is stress. So these days, because the, the, the work is so frequent and regular, all I do is to ensure that uh, I wait before the Lord to know what He will have us do, the message He wants us to preach. I write them down. When I, when I mean preach, I'm talking about acting. So I write them down and uh, write the message. And uh, recently, one of our brothers, who is a lecturer in Program School of Ministry, uh, Brother Toyo Sige, I just, I just called him. I said, the Lord wants me to give you an assignment. I'm going to write the message. You go and do the screenplay. 
and then do more research on uh, any of the messages that I give to you to work on. And the Lord has been helping him, making the work a lot easier for me. By the time he submits his first draft, we gather together as a team and do what we call script conference. This is when we look at scriptures, compare it with the message we are preaching. Uh, you know, we're spending a lot of hours before we can approve the script for shooting. It takes a lot of work. And I want to once again thank my team, amazing team. Please help me celebrate them, appreciate them. Uh, say a prayer for them in the comment section and uh, let them know how much my wife and I cherish and appreciate them. Sister Sheifa DG is our line director. You know, sometimes you make some grammatical errors and then uh, she will have to do the corrections and uh, doing a lot of things. Amazing people. I also appreciate people in our welfare department Sister Grace Ajigoye, Sister Bosse Ayokule. Sister Vukola Moses, all of these people, they ensure that uh, we eat, you know, because uh, we do all the fasting before we go on location. When we are shooting, people go to heat to be able to get stamina because the work, the work will be so hectic. And we thank God for all of these amazing people. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, our father in ministry, Evangelist Mike Bamiloye, when we were to go to Ibadan. You know, that is based in Ibadan. And I called him, you know, coming to his territory, I got to receive his blessing. Uh, he was not in the country as at then, but he prayed for us and uh, he gave his blessings upon the project. And uh, we thank God for his life together with Mommy Gloria. Uh, they've been an amazing mentor and father and mother to us. The Lord will keep strengthening them in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, I must not end this without thanking the greatest miracle after salvation that happened to me, the greatest gift an amazing friend, uh, my gist partner, the first person that I get to share the vision with anytime God is giving me a new message, the person who will scrutinize the first draft of the script, take time to read it, ask me a lot of questions, the person who will come and, you know, the only person who, who just bump into my study when I'm writing scripts and disturb me. And I will say to her, oh, please, I am busy. And she will say, okay, just a little time, just a little time. And I want to thank God for my wife. Uh, she's a co-producer of the husband and wife series. Thank you so much for believing the vision and the help that you are entering. The Lord bless and keep you mm -hmm. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, to all our team, we thank God because our marriages are working. We do challenge ourselves that we are not the doers of the message. We are just messengers through which the Lord is you know, passing across the messages to the world. So I, I, I put this challenge to all the members of our team. Let God minister to you too through this message. So we get blessed too. Just like you watch every Friday, we also watch and get blessed too. In fact, myself, I get to see each episode maybe on Monday or Tuesday before that Friday. And I get blessed. I get ministered to. I'm like, ah, I would want that did this. That's to tell you that the hands of the Lord is upon it and we do not take it for granted. Finally, thank you, our partners. Your support is helping us. You know, some people will say, oh, YouTube is paying you. Why are you asking for support? Well, what 
what YouTube pays at the end of the month compared to what goes into our monthly production, you know, the gap is so wide. But what the Lord is using the partners to do is really helping us. And we do not take this for granted. Thank you for believing in our vision. After Resolute Heart comes another message. I am not going to tell you the title of that powerful message until you see the final episode of the Resolute Heart. God bless and keep you. We love you so much. Keep watching Ayobami at the way that Gospel for TV. I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Click on the notification bell and make sure you watch and reshare and reshare and reshare. Please subscribe to Ayobami Adegbega Gospel Films TV. You're not going to regret it. God bless you. Just a click Ayobami Adegbega uh, Gospel Film TV. Yes, let me say that again. Ayobami Adegbega Gospel Film TV on YouTube. So click um, subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you get to know when the movie drops and you will be blessed. And don't forget to share it as well. God bless you. And kindly subscribe to Ayobami Adeboyega Gospel Films TV channel. God bless you. Thank you. Please subscribe to Ayobami Adeboyega Gospel Film TV on YouTube. And when you subscribe, please hit the notification button so that whenever we drop um, godly contents, you know, godly movies and all, you'll be able to be notified. And I, please share the links as well, as well, to other people so that they can benefit from this. God bless you. Thank you so much.